like a moose barging into a movie theater, we're going to stop the show with the week's wildest news on In Case You Missed It. Our first story tonight is a senior prank some students at Mead High School in Maryland put their school up for sale on the real estate website Zillow. I love it. This is awesome. This is brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? I don't know. I wish I'd have thought of it. <laughs> Nobody would have ever bought my school. <laughs> anyway, they described it as a half-working jail. <laughs> <laughs> they should know. That's yep. And they said it came complete with a spacious kitchen and dining room, private <laughs> basketball court, complimentary trash-scented air freshener Ooh. and water issues, and 15 bathrooms, one hey, for each know. gender. <laughs> yeah. And the asking price, just a mere $42,069. That's a steal. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, kids, do you really have a lot to learn about inflation? You can't sell that school for $42,000. <laughs> anyway, school officials said that the ad was incredibly creative, but that people should have known it was just a joke. The kids described it as a jail, and it doesn't even have a revolving door. That, wow. What kind of jail is that, huh? Anyway, next stop, Louisville, Kentucky, where Huck's criminal mastermind Clifton Williams was arrested for allegedly shooting his roommate in the rear end. Ooh. You know what it was for, Keith? I uh, can only guess, but well, I want to hear. Well, here's why. He ate his last Hot Pocket. <laughs> Justified. Yep. That's my ruling. There you go. The roommate told police that Williams got mad and started throwing tiles at him. <laughs> he tried to fight back, but Williams fetched a pistol. And as he was trying to flee, Williams shot him in the seat of the pants. Now that will give you a hot pocket right there. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it will. Luckily for the roommate, you can eat hot pockets standing up. <laughs> <laughs> And if you think government officials in America abuse their power, well, you're right. But there's a bureaucrat in India who's giving them a run for their rupees. Oh, he whoa. is, yeah. He was picnicking by a reservoir and trying to take a selfie when he dropped his smartphone into the water. Uh -oh. First, he tried to get some police divers to look for it, claiming that it had sensitive government information on it. He must have bought it from Hillary Clinton, I think. <laughs> but the diver suggested that he go jump in the lake. So despite India suffering a serious water shortage, he ordered in diesel pumps and had the entire reservoir drained. No. Half a million gallons of water gone. But here's the good news. He found his phone. The bad news, it was waterlogged and wouldn't start anymore. <laughs> well, at least... Nobody will have that problem ever again, because nope. as you might imagine, this official is not too popular with local citizens. But I'd still trade Kamala Harris for him, I tell you. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> well, from India, the land of snake charmers, we next go to Cornwall, England, the land of worm charmers. And Trey, I'm not talking about gummy worms, by the way. Uh, worm charmers. Worm charmers. Mm. Cornwall recently held its third annual Worm Charming Championships. I don't know if you knew this or not, but vibrations will make worms come to the surface. Oh, I can't wait to try it. Yeah. yeah. Each team gets a two-meter square of grass, and they have 30 minutes to stomp, play music, and do the worm dance, or whatever it is <laughs> they can do to get as many worms as they can to the surface. Some people read love letters to the worms. Some played the tuba. No bad bagpipes, though. That's considered cruelty to worms. <laughs> One team... Harmonica, is it? Yeah. <laughs> accordion. <laughs> One team prayed to the worm gods, but that just made Adam Schiff appear. That was the worst time. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Wow. This year's winner flushed out 20 worms, but that is so far below the world record. That was set in 2009 by 10-year-old Sophie Smith, who charmed 567 worms out of the ground. What kind of worms are these, does it yeah. say? Well, all I know is this. Later that day, she won the Cornwall Fishing Tournament. Well, That's what happened. There you go. <laughs> I've heard that being able to charm the birds out of the trees, but I guess if you can charm the worms out of the ground, the birds will follow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally, this may sound like a joke, but there is a moose who walks into a movie theater. No, really, it happened in Kenai, I Alaska. I heard about that, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm guessing there it happens a lot. I don't know, let's watch. I see the moose mm -hmm. coming into the theater. 
walking right there. The moose just walked right into the theater. He got some popcorn, but he left without watching a movie. You know why? Why? Because he couldn't afford the ticket after he paid for the popcorn. <laughs> That's why. Amen, brother. Yeah. Anyway, at least a male moose with a huge rack of antlers didn't come into the theater. Because if it had, do you know what would have happened? It would have sat right in front of me. And oh, never no doubt it. about it. And well, put on a cowboy hat. There you go. Well, before that moose shows up and eats all of Keith's raisinets, <laughs> we're going to end this bit. But <laughs> until next time, remember, we read the news. I don't know how busy you are, but since you're clearly slacking off watching YouTube videos, you've probably got the time to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and the like button. That way you get updates on new videos.